Today's episode is brought to you in part by Survival Radio Network. Survival Radio Network is the source for news, entertainment, and talk radio. Go to SurvivalRadioNetwork.us to listen today. SRN Survival Radio Network. Today's episode is brought to you in part by Next Generation Speakers Magazine. Next Generation Speakers Magazine has tools, tips, and techniques to take your speaking to the next level. Next Generation Speakers Magazine, who's got next? What time? Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss my summit. I'm gonna miss my summit. What? Uh, gotta get dressed. Gotta get ready. Uh, oh my cufflinks! I can't believe this. Where are my cufflinks? I gotta get ready. My son. No, I here. Just oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. My belt, my belt, my belt. Oh man. Uh, Hey, what? calm down, Sakoni. Calm down. I didn't. No, you didn't miss your I dreamed I had a good. Let me show you. You want to show me? The least amount of effort. Hey, why not put that to work? So here I am, an inspirational <laughs> and motivational speaker. And I would have never seen that one coming because I used to get nervous speaking in front of people. I used to shake and pray that that teacher would never call on me for uh, to come up and do my book report. <laughs> I used to go to the bathroom, try to stay home from school, just to avoid getting up in front of that class. So sometimes we've got to get over our fears in order to allow God to, you know, work on really uh, flourishing and developing our gift or our talent. Let me give you an example. Uh, my wife here yeah, prefers her energy levels is introvert. She's very quiet. A conversation between her and I will go something like this. Blah, 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 blah. Her response will be like this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll continue. Blah, 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 blah. She will escalate. <laughs> <laughs> and if somebody had this big red clock, I would, ladies and gentlemen, I would wear it around my neck. I would wear this clock day and night. And I would say, you know what? I will not be irresponsible with the time that I have left. I will point at this clock. I, excuse me, what you, what you got there, bro? Sir, I have this clock right here. It's a wonderful clock. What? You should wear it around your neck. It will always tell you where you are and what time it is. But your horse effects. Look at this. Some people you do need to remove from your life because they're toxic. That make sense? Some people are rooting for you to fail. You need to get rid of those people. People talk about how much drama is on Facebook. I see so little drama on Facebook because I delete negative people <laughs> to make room for positive. So now I got people like y'all on my Facebook feed. And you have to be willing to face whatever it is that is holding you back. It may be a relationship. It may be a trauma that happened. Whatever it is, you have to be willing to face it so that you can move past it. And again, you're pausing. It could be somebody else's antidote. The fact that you survived it. Yes. Just the fact that you survived. I made it out. Can let somebody else, you can do the same. Can let somebody else know that you, that they can do the same. The fact that you were able to overcome adversity. The fact that you didn't stop, that you didn't give up, that you didn't quit. Can help somebody else say, you know what? I'm going to get one more shot. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going I'm to try my best because when I look and I see this person wasn't privileged, this person didn't have everything together, they didn't have it all right, they didn't come from the right side of the track, they didn't have the connections, but they didn't stop and they kept going. And because of them, I think I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. And so this is what I want you to understand. You can make that impact on the people around you. And you never realize who's watching. You never know who's looking at you.
Wow, that was incredible. So, let me, did he say anything about next year's summit? Actually, they did say something about next year. Helen Keller said, the only thing worse than being blind is having sight and no vision. And when we started our Are You Climbing the Wrong Mountain Summit back in 2016, little did we know that we would take the summit to these heights and be able to share this vision. And now we're able to help people to see clearly. In 2020, we realized something. The Are You Climbing the Wrong Mountain Summit will be taking a Stone Mountain, Georgia, October 2020. And we're going to help you see clear. 